Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum. When we last left off, uh, Mr. Drake had successfully convinced Logair to return to his rightful place as ruler of the Wheel Clan. Uh, so he'll pick up his conversation with Logair from here. Um, I'm so very glad to hear you'll be returning to the throne, but please, I still need some information. Of course. I'll do anything within my power to help you. Those elves who came to you, how can I find them? As I said, they were supposedly sent from the Silver Lady. I know very little of them. But I do have a name. Perhaps that will be enough for you to uncover this mystery. And what is that name? The delegation was sent by someone named Mingorad, and I had many correspondences with this elf. Here is a letter that was sent to me by him. Where could I find this Mingorad? I am unsure. The entire situation reeks of deception. I would tell you to seek him in Kintara, but I don't even know if the delegation was sent from there or not. Regardless, you may want to begin your search there. The Silver Lady might know of this Mingorad. And where exactly is Kintara? I don't know, unfortunately. The location of Kintara is a well-guarded secret, but I do know it lies within the Glimmering Forest. The small town of Stillwater lies near the edge of that forest. Perhaps there, you might find someone who knows where it is. Here, I'll mark your map with Stillwater's location. Thank you, Logair. I'll do my best to find out the truth. Wait. I'm much to blame for this situation. My fear and cowardice have helped in bringing about this tragedy. I feel I must do something to help you. Please, take Harrow, the first axe of my family. Its blade strikes true and deep in the hands of the righteous, especially if those hands are dwarven. Within it is the strength of the Thunderstones. I give it to you. I'll put it to good use. I'm sure you will. Godspeed on your quest, my friend. And if you do find out what happened to the Black Mountain Clan, return to me. I would be very interested in finding out what really happened to them. Very interested. I'll be certain to do that. Goodbye, Logair. Alright, and with that, Logair returns to his people and to his throne. Um, he's been able to give Mr. Drake a clue about finding out what happened to the Black Mountain Clan, and that clue is the name of a mysterious elf named Mingarad, who originally brought threats of war to Logair if something weren't done about the uh, Black Mountain Clan. And he's given Mr. Drake a letter from this Mingarad, so let's have a quick look at that. Uh, Logair, the judgment on the Black Mountain Clan has been passed. Uh, make certain they are in the appointed meeting place at the agreed-upon time. I speak with the authority of the Silver Lady, Queen of the Elves. If all conditions are not met, we will next meet upon the field of battle, and it's signed by Mingarad. So, um, he's, uh, Logair has told him that he might be able to find out some information about this Mingarad in the elven city of Kintara. Unfortunately, Logair has absolutely no idea where that is. Uh, he did tell Drake that he could look for someone who might know the location in a small town called Stillwater. And fortunately, and quite coincidentally, uh, Stillwater is also the place where the next breadcrumb on the trail to Elder Joachim, uh, Virgil's mentor, is located. So Mr. Drake has a couple of reasons to head to Stillwater. Also, Logair gave him uh, his personal battle axe, um, which is called Harrow. And based upon Logair's remarks during his conversation, and if we look at the uh, at the weapons information down here at the bottom, if I can get it to pop up, there we go. If we look at it, um, the weapon's damage is based upon the character who's wielding it, uh, that character's alignment and uh, that character's alignment and race. Basically, if the, the, the more of a good character the wielder is, the more damage it does, and if the character wielding it is a dwarf, uh, it does a lot of extra damage. So, this would be a really good weapon for Magnus. Now, unfortunately, and probably not too surprisingly, the game's AI doesn't realize that uh, the weapon's damage scales like this. So, if I were to give it to Magnus, um, he would just think it was a mediocre weapon and wouldn't equip it. E even Logair. Uh, <laughs> 
Logar is a recruitable companion later on, and even if you get him in your party and try to give him Harrow, he'll probably use some other weapon in its place. Uh, so that's somewhat irritating. So Mr. Drake is probably just going to uh, keep Harrow as a memento until he returns to Logar when he finds out about what happened to the Black Mountain Clan. Anyway, um, down here we have the entrance from the... Uh, the series of uh, mines called the Dredge. This is where your character would enter from if he hadn't been able to convince Ranver to uh, reveal the secret passage. Um, one thing before we go, if you'll notice, I, I noticed this in the conversation, <laughs> Magnus's fatigue has been completely drained and it's not, it's not, he's not recovering it. This is because uh, in the fields outside of Ashbury, as we departed for the Wheel Clan, Magnus apparently thought it was a good idea to pick up a pet rock the size of a fucking Buick. Um, and there's, I'm not exactly sure how to get it out of his inventory. If I empty Mr. Drake's inventory and strip him down bare ass naked, uh, he still won't be able to take the rock into his inventory to drop it. Um, because it, 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 it weighs too much for Drake to pick up. So I'm going to have to figure out some way to relieve Magnus of, uh, of his new favorite toy. Um, because that's, 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 he can barely walk as it is now. He has no fatigue. He's going to be worthless in combat. So um, this is something that I need to figure out what to do about. Um, also, if we go to the Reputation tab... Uh, let's see, where'd that be? Yeah. Mr. Drake is now the rescuer of Thorvald because he uh, he brought Thorvald, Thorvald back to the Wheel Clan from the Isle of Dread, and he's also the hero of the Wheel Clan because he returned Logair to the throne. So he's very popular among the Wheel Clan. So he's going to uh, before departing for Stillwater, he's going to have a walk around the uh, underground Dwarven city and introduce himself to a few more citizen, see if he can pick up a couple of side quests. So I'm going to pause it really quickly, and uh, when we return, we'll be amongst different dwarves. So be right back in a second. Alright, and we're back. Uh, Mr. Drake has made his way from the throne room down to the dwarven residential area. And, uh, oh, <laughs> I did manage to uh, get that damn rock out of Magnus's inventory, so... Uh, I guess as a consolation, we can let him hold on to Harrow. And see, he doesn't even equip it uh, in favor of his featherweight axe, even though it's, it would be a much better weapon for him since he's a dwarf. So that really sucks. So without further ado, let's have Mr. Drake just enter people's homes at random and introduce himself, uh, and w which is perfectly uh, acceptable etiquette in RPGs. So, well, You're the one that rescued old Thorvald, aren't you? I can't believe he was on that miserable island for all that time. Uh, who are you? I go by the name of Thrain Ironheart, and you are? I'm Robert Drake. Yes, I've heard your name. Uh, that being the case, may I ask you some questions? Yes, what are your questions? What can you tell me about the Wheel Clan? Well, the Wheel Clan is the first and greatest of all, hence our position as the head of clans. We've ruled unchallenged since the Great Clan Wars. The Clan Wars? What are those? Yes, uh, perhaps I've said too much. The Great Wars are not something we discuss with outsiders. I'm sorry if I've given you offense. Um, I should probably be going. Good day to you, sir. Oh, well, one thing. I know that you're a traveler. If you ever happen to find yourself at the Stonecutter Clan, could you deliver a message to my brother? He's been gone some fifteen years and I need his help back here. He's a bit of a layabout, if you get my meaning. I'll be sure to do that. Uh, could you mark his location on my map for me, please? There you go. Thank you. Good day. Alright, so with that, Mr. Drake has been recruited to find the brother of a complete stranger, uh, of whom he's in dire need. And in typical RPG fashion, uh, even though <laughs> Mr. Uh, Ironheart needs to see his brother badly, he can't be asked to leave his own house to go find him. So, Mr. Drake will introduce himself to this other dwarf. Sir, all of us owe you so much for convincing Logair to be our king again. A greeting, sir, and who might you be? And my name is Eric Obsidian. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well met, Eric. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. How can I help you? 
What is it you do here in the Wheel Clan, Eric? Me? I'm a historian. I study our dwarven past, reflect on the paths we have taken, collect objects of historical relevance and value. When I can, I try to tell our story and tell it true. I can only hope to be a looking glass into the dwarven soul. And what are you studying right now, Eric? Well, currently I'm studying dwarven legends and mythology, and recently I came across something very interesting. Very interesting indeed. What's that, Eric? What did you find? Sorry about that. The possibilities are so exciting. Perhaps I should be more forthcoming. Dwarven mythology tells of an ancient race of dwarves whose civilization was filled with such wonders as the world has never known before or since. They were known as the Iron Clan. The Iron Clan? Uh, were they real? What happened to them? Well, no one really knows if they were real or what happened to them if they were, because we found no proof of their existence. But, one of our miners dug up an old dwarven mace a few weeks ago. The handle of that axe was hollow, and within it was this. And he shows Mr. Drake what appears to be an old schematic. What's this, Eric? Well, it looks to be the schematic for a key. There's some text on here which seems to hint that this is the first of many keys. Keys which open the place of iron where lies the stone. Do you know what that could mean? Uh, no, what does it mean? The stone it refers to could be the famed Durin stone, upon which the dwarven philosophy of the shape and the stone is purportedly carved. The recovery of such an object would be an invaluable find for the dwarven race, an unparalleled discovery reflecting our culture and history. Why haven't you gone looking for it, then? Oh, I've no time, friend. There's so much here that is real and known that I can't go chasing ghosts all over Arcanum. Perhaps one day I might find the time to make this key and see where it takes me. Uh, perhaps I could find, uh, them for you. Yes, I suppose it wouldn't do you any harm to look. I've got a copy of the schematic, so if you can't find the place of iron, I could always go looking myself. And if you do find it, and the Durin stone is there, bring it to me. It would be worthless to anyone but a dwarf, and most precious to me. I'd nothing to offer you but my thanks. I'm afraid a historian has little in worldly goods. No, uh, I'd be honored to go on this journey for you, pay or no pay. Splendid. Here's the schematic. I wish you the best of luck. I must depart. Alright, so Eric has given uh, Mr. Drake a copy of the schematic to make something called the Iron Key. And this is a text schematic. I haven't had Mr. Drake learn any uh, text schematics, even though he, he would be able to, to learn any of them, uh, simply because it's not really in keeping with his character. However, I do want to complete this quest because um, it, it, it's a fun quest to complete. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's fun in its own right. And it's pretty interesting for, from a lore standpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and have him learn this schematic. So he's learned the schematic for the Iron Key. And if we go to the uh, his tech tab, uh, this is the button for all of the schematics that you learn from the uh, from the the, uh, the technological disciplines trees. And this is the one for found schematics. So we'll click on this one. And I think this schematic is a mechanical one. Yeah. So here's the schematic for the iron key. There are two ingredients. He needs some sort of mineral called heartstone, and he needs a sheet of mithril ore, and he has neither of those. So he'll have to hold off on making the iron key and finding some clue about the whereabouts or the remains of the iron clan until he gets those ingredients, which is going to be a bit later on. Um, so that's about it for here in the Wheel Clan for now. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and clear out the dredge just to uh, get Mr. Drake a couple of levels so he can get teleport and not fall too far, far behind. Um, but I'll do that off camera. So when we return, he'll probably be back in Toronto at Gilbert Bates's, uh, ready to report on what he's found out about the Wheel Clan and how he's going to head to Stillwater and hopefully Kintara after that. So, as always, thank you for watching and please stay tuned.